in the previous module, as I started, I said that the first and most important module in understanding the network and access control functions is to understand how the access management function is implemented. But then in the due course, I started off with network access and configuration functional entity. And there was a reason to that. The reason is that although to begin with, we see that network access configuration functional entity is what is related to the IP address because the IP address is the most important uh, entity in the overall engine architecture. So IP address assignment was an important concern. But as you can see in this diagram uh, that the access management functional entity is the first entity that, that interacts with the customer equipment. So it means that with the understanding of access management functional entity, we shall be able to know how exactly an equipment is connected to the network. After a, an equipment is connected to the network and it's an access is granted to it, then the IP address assignment takes place. So naturally, IP address assignment is a mechanism that follows the access uh, management, uh, the, the access process. So we are going to look at what is the basic role of access management first, and then what are the access mechanisms available. So the basic role of the access management is to make sure that the layer two connectivity is established. Now, as you can see, we have just seen in the diagram that the uh, location of the access management functional entity or the module is between the customer premises equipment and the network uh, access configuration functional entity. So it is basically a layer two uh, connection from the, um, uh, from the customer premises equipment to the, uh, uh, to the network access and configuration function and vice versa. It is more of a logical connection because different access technologies could, could be used. For instance, the point-to-point -point protocol, the uh, Ethernet, passive optical network, any layer two technology could be utilized. So it is more of a logical implementation. After having understood that a technology at layer two is implemented, then the next natural step is to ensure that an authorized customer premises equipment uh, is allowed to access the network access and configuration uh, functional entity. For that, AAA is performed. The AAA is performed by using various technologies. The options are, but not limited to, the remote authentication dial-in uh, user service. It's the RADIUS, which is uh, quite old now. These days, either diameter is used or uh, any other proprietary standard is used. Even these technologies like uh, 3GPP, 4G, LTE, um, they have their own uh, layer two uh, authentication, authorization, and uh, accounting mechanisms. So depending on the uh, overall access technology, its own uh, uh, AAA mechanisms can be initiated. So it means that the access management is uh, done or is completed after the uh, authentication is performed and now the customer premises equipment or the user equipment is all set to get an IP address.